Hey, William Gilmore here for the StreamRidersJourney.com, and it is day 31 of the journey. It's actually the evening of day 32, but I had some technology issues uh, when I tried to record the day 31 uh, podcast here. Uh, it didn't upload properly, and then uh, it disappeared off the drive, and I didn't have time to re-record it before heading off on today's adventures, which is a series of screenings. Um, but I did want to come back and get this in because this is uh, sort of my goals for the next 30 days for the month of October. Actually, 31 days. Uh, after looking at September and what I accomplished and my few misses, uh, I wanted to sort of re-examine uh, my stated goals and see uh, how I can make them work better for me uh, in this coming period. Uh, I'm trying to refocus on the writing a little bit because I missed some of the uh, the writing that I wanted to get done in September. Uh, so we've switched things up a little bit, uh, not tr putting quite as many writing goals in. Uh, that's not to say that I'm not making that a priority. I'm just not going to try and do quite so much so that I can concentrate on one thing more. Uh, basically what I want to do is try and complete the rewrites for come-ups. I am about halfway through the script. I'm at the midpoint in Act 2. Uh, so I have to finish up the second half of Act 2 and then, of course, the uh, Act 3 finale. Uh, and I want to be able to give it that same sort of in-depth analysis that I gave to Act 1 and really walk myself through it. That worked really well for me uh, in Act 1. Uh, the script became very focused, I think. Uh, certainly a much better script than it was. So I really want to be able to concentrate on that and finish that script up this month uh, and not worry about trying to do anything on do on to others. Um, <clears throat> in addition to that, I want to uh, complete the pitch. I started the log line uh, and have a, a pretty solid log line on that. I will probably take the log line into a service such as uh, uh, the writer store has a pitch service where you can take your pitch in and test it out and see how how it works. So I may just try something like that uh, along with the log line and uh, start developing that for marketing so that when I finish the script uh, during this month, uh, I'll be ready to start marketing it. I also want to start researching uh, the market for this particular genre and uh, see what companies are out there or you know, producers that might be interested in it. I'll probably be using uh, something like the Hollywood Screenwriting Directory that uh, I got from the Writer Store. Uh, as part of the uh, webinar package, uh, and that literally has hundreds if not thousands of different companies and the people who work at them and their contact information so that you can reach them either with a query letter, uh, through email or snail mail, maybe picking up the phone, making a few calls, things like that, uh, and start uh, getting a list of people that uh, I can start marketing it to and setting up that query letter and, and making that pitch. Um, I also want to get some type of coverage on the script once it's complete, so I'll be researching to see if I can find uh, an appropriate place to receive that coverage. I want to avoid some of the larger sort of uh, farm industry uh, style services uh, like Coverage Inc. because you're not really sure who those people are or if they're really interested in your genre. Uh, so I'm going to take a Corey Mandel's advice and see if I can find an industry insider who actually does coverage for studios and producers and see if I can you know, pay them under the table and get uh, coverage without getting into the database uh, and see what kind of reaction we get and see, you know, is the script at a point that it's able to be marketed or do I need to do some more work on it? Um, I'd also like to uh, complete two episodes of Everyday Clowns. Uh, and I've got a jump start on that because on the last day of September, on day 30, I got about halfway through an episode. Uh, so I only have to do half an episode to finish one and then uh, come up with one more over the month. I have a reading tentatively scheduled with the IAWTV a workshop mid-October. So I've got to get that half episode done by then. And so that gives me two weeks at the end of the month to pick up uh, another episode or at least get one started. Uh, with any time that I have left over, when I'm not working on the website or doing script talk interviews, I would also like to uh, spend some time working on my novel, uh, which is sort of a side project that I've got going on. Uh, but I think that'll be a good way to take a break 
from the scripts, uh, give myself a little space, a little distance, so that when I come back to them, I'll have fresh eyes. Uh, the novel is actually based on a screenplay that I wrote a couple of years ago, and I was at a uh, screenwriting conference and heard a lawyer speak uh, who was talking about that they really liked looking for uh, stories that have a uh, dual purpose. You know, if you have a screenplay that can be a novel, write the novel. If you have a novel that can be a screenplay, also write the screenplay. It's easier for them to market that um, because they got sales on both ends. So. What I would like to do, and like I said, this is strictly if I have the time. Uh, it's not a priority because I want to get the script done first. But if I could get two chapters, if I could just take a little time and a little break from the script, you know, a few days here, a few days there, and if I could get two chapters, that would be great. I'll be happy with one. But if I could get two a month over the next 11 months of the journey, uh, that gives me 22 chapters, and I've already got uh, a number of them written, so that should give me just about a completed novel uh, by the end of the journey. So that's something we'll be doing on the side. Like I said, it's not a priority, um, but it's something that I want to work on. So that's still an awful lot of writing that I'll give myself. <laughs> so uh, you just kind of have to buckle down and, and find the time to do that. So what you need to be doing also is check your schedule. How did you do in September? Did you make your goals? Did you fall short on some of them? How can you rework uh, this month to make sure that you accomplish all those goals? Uh, if you accomplished everything really easily, then you probably didn't give yourself enough, and you can uh, bulk that up a little bit, add some more uh, goals to the list. Uh, if you missed it, and missed it by a long shot, then you maybe had too much, and you want to trim back a little bit. But you've really got to look at your schedule, your, your daily life schedule, and see where you can work the time in to get the writing. You know, the marketing is great, and doing all the website stuff and the social forum stuff is great. That's all great branding. But if you don't have the writing to back that up, then that's it's really wasted time. So you've got to find the time for the writing. So check your schedule and set your list of goals for October, and we'll see where we are at the end of the month. Anyway, I'll be back here actually in just a couple of minutes uh, to do the Day 32 uh, blog and uh, tell you all about the adventures that I had today. But until then, find the time to keep writing. <laughs>